from France. I'm so happy to be here. I feel so relaxed for the first time ever starting a video. We are in Nantes in France for our anniversary weekend. Since 2015, we've never celebrated our anniversary. So I was going to do something this year, but we actually got invited to this chateau, which is called Chateau Chaline. I'll get Paris to pronounce that. I actually love these. I'm gonna show you them in a second. I'm in love with them. It's like literally my favorite thing in this room apart from it being circular. So we actually got invited here and I thought, perfect, it's our wedding anniversary. And we really need two days away. I've stupidly bought like two dresses because we're only here for two, three nights. And every corner is beautiful and magical and all I want to do is take pictures. This is what happens to me. I try and come away for like a break or a romantic break and all I want to do is take pictures. And I don't have that many outfits so I have no choice. Tonight I'm wearing, this is just a t-shirt because I've actually sent Paris to iron my shirt for me. I'm just wearing a white oversized shirt, jeans and um, I'll show you. Let me quickly show this bedroom. So we're actually, ignore the suitcases, Paris has already filmed this all lovely and beautiful, but it's a circular room. This is the golden suite. Love that wardrobe there, so beautiful. Um, this is a perfect bag for the evening and travelling because look how flat it is. Really good quality, I've only just got that. Um, classic hangieses, so I'm just literally wearing all white and relying on my shoes to kind of bring my outfit to life. Perfect bag. Yep, this is the room. So we're having a romantic dinner on the terrace. We're actually a couple minutes late. I'm waiting for him to iron my shirt. Um, dinner on the terrace. We're basically plan the whole three days around breakfast, lunch and dinner. And I'm going to show you all the little corners of this amazing, it's literally like a fairy tale. Before we start, I'm going to show you the, I'm going to show you the, the bathroom. I know the Paris is going to show you it better. No, I'm not going to show you there. Okay, Paris is going to show you it better. So that's our bedroom. You would have already seen the bathroom properly without our suitcases. And this. <gasps> oh, I was naughty and had a look. How magical is that? A little mini dinner. So there's a bridge over there, the gazebo and the lake, a swing. It's just so breathtaking. So that's the plan tonight. We'll be having a nice romantic dinner. Tomorrow we'll be having basically eating all around here and I just can't wait just to do that. Where else do we? Oh, he's back. Oh, I've just seen a little like rowing boat next to the lake. We have to go and see that. So he's back now with my shirt. How did it go? Oh, I did my best. You stayed behind the shirt. I did my best. Oh, that's awful. No, that's amazing. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me see this. What did you... I spent 15 minutes doing it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh, we, you need an ironing lesson. He said he'd ironed that. Is that ironed? Is that ironed? Yeah. How embarrassing. It's better than it was before. <laughs> oh, my, I'm actually not so sure. I'm not joking. Do you not know how to iron? It's for 15 minutes though, yeah. Is that your first time? So when you see me with an, um, a crease shirt, this is what happens. I should have done it myself. Spread it. <laughs> I was going to say something. Stop. It doesn't show I, how, This is a surprise for you. What did you think of your surprise? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Really? What? You're not going to say anything else? I can't believe I've got no, to have a crease shirt. Right. Okay, so I forgot what I was going to say, but I'm sure I'll remember later. So let's go to dinner. <laughs> um, I think one of the things I wanted to tell you is that this staircase think is it is my favorite thing in the chateau just the color I've never seen anything like it
their first dinner. Do you want to say how you really feel? What do you mean? When I said, did you like the surprise? Because he didn't know he was coming here. No, yeah, it's wonderful. Wonderful. Because he does all the travel stuff, so this is like my... Oh, I took you to Iceland for your 30th. I did that all by myself. Yeah, this is very niche. I think I can hear the dog in there. Really? Yeah. There's I a little a white dog, it's so cute. Now, who gets to have private dinner in front of a chateau? There's literally no one here, look. On the back of the chateau is just as pretty. The grounds are really big and like literally there's no one else here, just us on our mini, mini wedding. This is so unique. It's really peaceful. I'll tell you food. We had spiced cream cheese and cucumber. For starters. How many cheers? To our one year anniversary. Well. 2015 or one year. Oh yeah, we've got many anniversaries. <laughs> oh. Sorry, but we're just discussing the ironing. Yeah, but it, it's good. Look, this is flat. This is flat. That was creased before. Can you see this? This is flat, see? I need to teach you at least how to iron a shirt so that when... Look at that. I think it's good. Is that your first time? Look, this is flat. All around the buttons. That's the easiest part. You tried. The colour, flat. Dip, 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 dip. <laughs> Are you shy? No, it's dip. because Alex is over there, so... What, the owner? Uh, me and Alex. Ah. Oh, oh Alex is the owner as well? Yeah. Oh, it used to be mine, but now... <laughs> he only like he only likes you. Yeah. He's like looking at you, waiting. You think I can turn all of these off with one cup? I think I can't do one, but I, I think you can. One. No, I think you can if do. If I huff and I puff. <laughs> you tried with all your might. <laughs> yep, she did. I wasn't going to film this morning, <laughs> look at me, we literally just woke up, no we haven't woke up, we, we we had a bit of a mistake, we were doing emails in the bedroom and I said to Paz, it feels a bit late, what's the time? And he said, oh we've got an hour, and he'd got the times mixed up and we're actually an hour late for breakfast, and because they set it up just for us, I was moaning at him and so he's got to go and find everyone to apologise, so we wasn't sure if we missed it or not, and we came through, I love this corridor, we came through here, and this is, um, I guess it's where, like, it's the basement quarters where they would have made the food for the people living in the chateau. And it's just beautiful. It's like actually a dream country kitchen. And we came in thinking I was just going to show you a quick bit on the vlog what it looks like. And it looked so amazing that he ran up to get his camera and he's filming. But I think I can go in now and show you. Or we wasn't even meant to film. He's got like an unironed shirt. Can I come in? smell is the best part actually because that fire is just amazing why do ours not smell like that at home it smells like it's gassing us out it's probably all, stuff. all the details and it's just for us so this is where we're having a bit of eczema today this is obviously where we're having our breakfast what do you think oh, I'm I just said I knew you'd pick that one. Yeah. And then tomorrow we're going to have breakfast somewhere different so we can show you all the different places you can have breakfast. It is our... It, it, bleh, start again. So it's our first full day at the Chateau, Chateau Chilin. 
Um, I've got a fairy tale dress on for my fairy tale castle. We're having lunch. We basically had our breakfast this morning, which was lovely, so perfect. Then we did a bit of work, we just couldn't help ourselves. Oh, there's lavender here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I'll show you in a sec. I noticed all the, like a thousand bumblebees. Um, so now we have our beautiful lunch, which I think is gonna be the most special, t like, thing that we're doing here. Um, I think this is like a perfect proposal place. Like I would love to be proposed here. And we asked about the rowing boat and she said we can actually go on there. So how lovely to be proposed to where I'm about to show you and then go for a rowing boat or the lunch and then I'm literally welling up because proposals are my favorite thing in the world. And then go for a row, like a ride in your little rowing boat and then propose. <gasps> that would be perfect. And then go on the swim to take your engagement picture. I was waiting for Paris um, for our lunch. Now I can show you it. So here's all the beautiful lavender with all the bees. I don't know if you can see them. That's our setup, and they've done it all baby pink. The lake and the swim. You ready for your lunch? Yeah. Do you like my dress? This is one that you said you liked. Yeah, well, I said I liked them. Well, I didn't change my mind, did I? <laughs> so happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. How do you say it in French? I don't know. I never got married French, but since I don't know. Oh, so you don't speak French? I forgot my French. What sort of answer is that? <laughs> I speak Essex, that. You're right, Giza. Um, how to say Chateau Chalim? Was I saying it right? Chalin. Oh, Chalin. I knew I'd got it wrong. Okay, let's go for Chalim. lunch. <laughs> just said stop eating because I'm filming and he did that. So oh. he, we have a surprise dinner tomorrow and he's non-stop tried to guess and get it out of me and I can't just go there and take him so I'm going to tell you what it is. Tell me. So maybe Google what it is so I don't get it wrong. Just stay in my pants. Type in. I think it's called Jillian, you heard her say it, no? No. It's a bit D. Okay, type in nearest Michelin star restaurant. <laughs> Got all the butterflies. Auberge de la Diligence. Yes, that's it. Yeah, I saw that yesterday. Did you? You've been sneaking. I've been looking at the restaurants around here. To try and guess. See what I mean? I can't have any surprises. Ah, here you go. Restaurant gastronomique. Bienvenue à l'auberge de la diligence. So near the restaurant, have I showed you? Because I did an Insta story. So this was our lunch. We're actually still eating. So we have the view of the lake. The beautiful crystal and flower gazebo. And then the beautiful, look how impressive that is. Um, so they have a Michelin style restaurant near the chateau. So when you stay here, there are places to go, like really amazing places to go. So are you excited? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Go and have a look at it together. So it's around five o'clock. It's still really light outside. It doesn't get 
dark till about half nine here. So we had like a walk around the grounds, did our best to try and relax. Well, I tried, I've actually just been editing pictures. Paris had a nap. He's playing on the drone and I am going to wash my hair. I'm so happy with my hair at the moment. Look how silky it is. So we're gonna talk about my hair in a second, but we have the chateau literally exclusive to us. Even the staff have gone home. I think they're getting over that, that huge wedding they had. So I'm going to give you a little tour. We're seeing this room together for the first time. I mean, I want a fireplace entrance to my bedroom. And it's so um, traditional. They've really kept everything, like the layout. They all seem to have these entrance rooms with kind of like a day bed and a sofa and lots of little setups like this. There's even a room I'll show you where it's just a room just to look out. Each window and view is beautiful. So this is another tower suite, a bit different to ours. There are so many rooms, I'm actually not sure I'm gonna be able to show you them all. I'm just about to have a bath, so this is literally what I'm wearing and because it's literally, there's no one here, I can just wear whatever I like. These was actually the um, bridesmaids' robes. I literally feel like I'm at my own wedding here. These were the robes that we had for my wedding. Okay, so this is one of my favourite bedrooms. Another entrance sink here. They're all completely different. This is the room we're going to stay in tonight. I told you, every room has got the best views ever. Um, and I can, I'm only doing this because we've literally got the room for the, the whole chateau for our, to ourselves. So this is my kind of bed. I actually have a bed like this at home, but I don't think I've ever shown you it. I actually have two beds like this at home, um, which I've never shown you, but I love this kind of um, French style bed. I love anything French interiors. So this is the room we're going to stay in tonight. This is, I love this. It's like a, just a side bedroom. Perfect if you're coming with children. That was probably the maid's quarter, like the maid to whoever was in this room. Then this is actually the bath I'm going to use now, because I'm literally allowed to use whatever I like in each room. Oh, this is the room that I was telling you about. Look at that fireplace, pink marble. Uh, this is the room. It's just like a, a sitting, looking out room. How relaxing. So I guess that's the kind of thing they used to do. I learned today that the owners are have like um, an interior design business, so that's why they've done such a good job at just keeping it to the original interiors. So this is where I'm going to have my bath. I love this bathroom. I love green marble. I love any coloured marble. You can see my lace outfit again. This is my Amanda Barden robe. It's not the one I wore for my wedding. It's just a new one that I haven't worn. So I thought it'd be nice to bring it with me. So that's why I'm going to have my bath. This is apparently is one of the bride and groom suites. I think this is where, I might even stay in here tonight actually. Oh, they're all nice. They're all so nice. So we've seen that one. We've seen our room. We see Paris doing the drone. The staircase I love. Paris is in there. Oh, he's not anymore. But that's, um, he was doing the drone in there, so that means he's probably done. That's the entrance. This is the other side room to this room. I think this room's really masculine. This would be really nice for the groom the night before. Um, it's just a really nice bachelor room. Well, girls can like it as well, but if you would want the masculine feel, look at the black fireplace. It even smells manly in here. Oh, I love that. Just giving you a quick whiz round because there's literally so much to look at. This is like a double barrel corridor, because you can go in there as well. Then we have this room. That's got a really nice bathroom, just the sink, that one. So 
So that's what I was talking about with the double barrel corridor. And this one, this one doesn't have a bathroom. They all have little sinks and marble, marble fireplaces. There's the balcony there. I haven't been in there, that looks scary. I'm not gonna go in there. Oh, that looks scary because the lights are off. And then that's our room. So that's everything. Let me turn you around. So that's just a quick tour of this floor. Upstairs, there's no rooms, and downstairs, I guess I'll show you tomorrow. But I'm going to, oh, let's go to the bedroom, because I'm gonna to talk to you about my hair, the bathroom. Yes, but oh, it's so big, I don't even know where I am yet. So, a lot, I do get a lot of questions about my hair, or mainly on Instagram. Isn't it lovely light in here? Um, there are so many reasons how I got my hair back. I was actually looking at some old photos last night and my hair, I had such a bad stage for about three years and it was literally um, by hairdressers that were over colouring my hair and getting the wrong colour. That was the main reason and the other reason was my own fault. I was tonguing my hair nearly every day, every other day at least and it damaged it so much with the heat. And I was also blow drying my hair every every other day. So since I've got my new hairdressers, I go to Kennedy's, and since I've stopped the heat on my hair, I literally curl my hair or straighten my hair every now and again. And if I do straighten or curl it, I have the heat on really low. I use heat protectors. Um, I just really min minimize when I am um, using any heat. And I try and use electronics that have heat. Um, heat intelligence where it can tell if your hair is getting too hot you can hear power oh there's no one else here and yet that wasn't walking like you i know i feel like i'm at home i don't know what to do with all these rooms mm. we need 25 babies claire okay good talk so um yeah any heat intelligence is really important this is the hair dryer that I've brought with me, it's the Panasonic Double Nano. This hairdryer I have had for, I think, two years. I'll put up a picture on my Instagram when I featured it, I think it was two years ago. And it's such a great hairdryer. This is the new one, so two years later I have the new one. This is slightly better, um, even aesthetics-wise, because it's a little bit lighter, and the other one was really light as well. Um, and this one actually folds so it was really easy to take with me. I never used to take hair dryers away with me. I would always just rely on the, the hotel one. But nine times out of 10, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, they, they're so bad. They make my hair fluffy, they overheat. So bad that in fact, when I went to LA, if you watch that vlog, I was getting a blow dryer. I think I had three blow dryers in total because the hair dryers were just so bad, even though we were in nice places. So from now on, I'm taking my own hair dryer and thank God the new Panasonic has the foldable, should I show you? And the reason why this is really good for your hair um, is you can really see here how it goes hot and cold. So this obviously comes off and I packed that away and then that's how streamlined it is. So it was totally fine. I actually put that in my hand luggage. Oh, actually we can show you what it's like. And this um, nozzle here is re when it's really narrow like this, it makes you have a really silky smooth effect. So definitely bring your own hair dryer aboard because I think that the hotel, like any random hair dryer, can really damage your hair. I have so many hair dryers, and this is the only one I've been using for literally two years. I have one at home, which um, you've, well, you've probably seen that a lot of times. This one on the Instagram, and one here. So I blow dry my hair. I, I actually don't blow dry it properly. I use the paddle brush, um, I leave it in a towel for a couple of minutes, five minutes, just to rough dry. Um, I don't go like this, and I basically just rough dry it, but with a smoothing brush. So that's how I get a nice smooth finish and the blunt ends, but I don't overly do it. And if I want to blow dry the front, I'll just blow dry the front. So that's how I'm keeping my hair healthy. And that is the hair dryer that I'm using to keep it in good condition. Find a good hairdresser, if you have a colorist that is. Use lots of masks. Do not use heat protection, if you do, make sure it's got the technology like this Panasonic Nano because it's really important about not burning your hair. So I'm going to have a bath and do my hair and then we're going to have a romantic dinner tonight. 
met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I honestly don't know. And tell me how we messed up, drifting away from each other. Didn't want to let you go. I'm wearing another Zimmerman dress. It's the shorter version. You're going to see it. Look at my hair. This is officially the best hair dryer. I wouldn't have personally, just being honest, I wouldn't have bought the upgraded one because I've had mine for two years and I'm perfectly happy with it. Um, maybe a year, I'm not sure. But I'm perfectly happy with it. It still works fine even though we both use it every day. Um, and I just thought this one was like a foldable one and the buttons were slightly different. And I don't know what was different. It must be the new technology of the du double nano system because my hair dried in half the time. And you can see, I don't need to like tell you, you can see how sleek it is. And I haven't used straighteners. This is literally just with me rough drying and then um, drying with the brush. And I basically use the, the cold heat most of the time. So it's gonna be amazing for my hair. I'm so happy with it and then I'll, I'll tell you what happened. I always put my hair in a towel for like maximum five minutes just to dry, like towel dry it. And I actually sat there for about half an hour. So I thought I'm not gonna show you doing the hair dry tonight because that always ruins your hair. It always goes super frizzy. So even though it went super frizzy and basically dried with the um, towel drying, it's actually really nice. So that's what I was looking at just to ensure you see all the views I see. And we are now going for like a candlelit dinner inside the chateau. Um, I'm gonna go outside quickly show you my outfit. Can you believe it's nine o'clock and it looks like that? Um, yeah, we'll show you my outfit and then we're gonna have dinner. You don't need to be afraid of hurting me Cause you can't break my heart It's already broken from the start You look tiny in that armchair. We just asked for ice and the rosé and the, the guy said, are you really French? Yeah, that's in the south. Yes. And in the south, we put ice in the rosé. Yeah, that's the south of France. So happy with my hair, it's so sleek and nice. 
So now we're going to relax and enjoy our dinner. How did they know that peas are my favourite? J'ai mis ces gouttes là parce que les arbres ne sert à rien comme ça. Ah ok d'accord, parfait. Such a perfect backdrop. We are um, Friday. We're just about to make our way to lunch. I don't think I vlogged this morning. We had breakfast on the terrace. I'm trying to get in the shot there. It's very, very sunny and hot. Mm -hmm. We had breakfast on the terrace. And it's just not realistic to not work. So we've literally done that all day. I am wearing, so sunny, I'll have to show you again. I'm wearing my totem blazer, which is actually really light and nice and I thought it would be fine to wear, but I'm actually really hot. My Love Shack fancy dress. I've got my flat tributes on and my Saint Laurent bag. And I've also got my boots in here. Now we're going for lunch. We just finished our lunch and I'm finally at the part of the chateau where I've been wanting to come for ages. And it's actually even nicer here. It's so beautiful. If you were getting married, it's going to ruin your view, but imagine having wedding pictures standing where Paris is. Oh, how amazing. And not only is the bridge in the perfect place, it's really flattering light because it's so there's so much light here, but then the trees shade you so you can create these sunbeams, um, which we've done in our photos, which you can see on Instagram. But you've got the backdrop. It really is such a fairy tale. That's what I said from the beginning. And I actually love like this beautiful, I think it's algae, or I don't know, probably everyone's gonna tell me I'm wrong. But it's almost magical with all the green lake. There's the rower, can you see? The rowing boat. Um, I'm a little bit scared we're gonna go like overboard, but I'm definitely gonna try it. There's another swim, by the way. So I'm literally just swimming here while he's taking some film. These boots are so comfortable. They're my newest Belmont boots. They also come in a darker color. I can't remember if it was brown or black. So flattering with the dip there, but they are incredibly comfortable. And I'm wearing the Love Shack fancy dress, but you know, you've seen it anyway. One of my favorite bags. I love it so much. Yep, he was asking me to film you. He filmed him. My outfit is from Reese. Okay. That's all I had to say. Okay, they've seen this. This is what I bought you at the airport for Capri. The clown outfit. Mm hmm. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. In. Can you see? Let me hit them up. Totally forgot I had them in. Um, so it's the evening. This is my little office. This is the room next door. This is my dream room with a with a view like that. Sofa, fireplace, huge bed. That's all I want in my master bedroom. Didn't make it on the rowing boat today. Maybe tomorrow. Also love this shell mirror. Let me show you my wool outfit so we are going to the restaurant tonight remember when i spoke about this dress in my hall i said it was the perfect black dress for anything it's perfect for flats like i had today um with my basket bag it's good for meetings and i just wear like a lacy bralette but then with heels it's also really nice for the evening i did want to bring my evening bag the heart bag but I'm bringing flats in my bag because I don't want it to ruin my night and me be moaning. So I am actually bringing my basket bag. And although I don't think it's very evening for a restaurant, this is still like a holiday vibe. And I feel like I can get away with it somewhere like this in France that is slightly holiday vibe. So, and it's a nice basket bag. It's not like it's a random one. So that's my outfit. And we are, the, the chateau are actually taking us to this restaurant because... 
is kind of something they offer with it being so nearby. I'm just got my Hermes CDC. And got my Hermes CDC to kind of fancy up the outfit a bit. So I'm going to leave all that there to charge. And off we go to dinner. Yep, they're what? the Monona ones, aren't they? Yeah, I got Sex and the City shoes. No, that's Hang Easy. This is my shoes, my Gion Vito Rosses. Um, I ordered the high heel and then uh, they actually sent me this one by mistake and I ended up swapping them for the high heel because that's what I wanted and then getting these ones because they're actually, I much prefer them, they're perfect height. Just sitting with the rosé a bit because okay because the um restaurant's only five minutes away smile say cheese, cheese. okay took it we just had our dinner and i completely forgot to film it on the way in so i showed you driving up when it's surrounded by cornfields and wheat fields oh that's scary so it's in a quaint um, town and that's it there. Oh, the food, I'm not a foodie and the food was just beautiful and that's coming from someone that's not a foodie. What did you think of the food? Amazing. It was good, it was wasn't tough, it? Though. It was like a 25 course meal. No, it wasn't. Well, no. I don't know if I already, already told you this, I literally just woke up. Um, I've always wanted a house where you have a terrace, like a raised terrace, and then you look over at your garden. It would be nice, wouldn't it? We could have breakfast like this. The weather is so amazing. So it's our last day, as I told you, and... We planned everything. Me being me, I just shot the whole time. I couldn't, you know, it's so picturesque. I couldn't help it. Thank God I bought a hat because it's so sunny. I had like sunburn yesterday. Um, so we planned on the last day we would leave ourselves two hours to relax. Paris would sunbathe. I wanted to read a book for two hours, but it's not going to happen. We have two hours left. An hour of that, we're going to have our very last lunch and I just have to go on the boat. So Paris has got it all ready. He likes it, he had to leap in to the boat. He nearly fell in. I wish I'd filmed it because we can all imagine how funny that would have been, but I didn't see it. Uh, so we're just walking over there now. Even if I just have like a half hour romantic little um, boat ride, it should be fun. I hope I don't fall in. I really hope I don't fall in because oh, that would terrify me. I'm, I'm wearing a hat I picked up in Winston Ball where my sister lives. I'll show you my outfit hopefully, uh, properly. This is my lemon love, love shack fancy dress, low heavy bag, and my Epidi slides. Um, she did actually give me a discount code uh, for these, but if you are if you didn't see that, then I'm afraid it's gone. So just make sure you do watch my videos because I do try and get you as many discount codes as possible. So Lake Shadow, isn't it stunning? Wow, I'm so impressed. You know I kept showing you the boat was over there. 
Yeah, and how did you even get that here? I had to roll through the mud because there's no water. I'm, at, I'm not sure I want to go on. Oh, I told you it wasn't the kind of there. Oh, actually... Venice. Gondola, I thought there was but... two... Um... Yeah, how are you even going to take a picture of me? I'll have to try it. This is going to end very badly. Well. Okay, I'm starting to change my mind. Because that is not what you want to fall in. Was you not that? Whoa, is that safe? Was you not scared? Oh god, he's so adventurous. I'm gonna be so honest with you. This is bubbling, and uh, I've told him I don't want to do it, and I've changed my mind. But he's making me do it now, and I really don't want to do it. You promise it won't sink? Oh, what is that? That's gonna break that ledge. That's gonna break that ledge. Relax. Oh wait, are you coming in with me? Ah, why are you not in with me? Oh, I don't want to do it. Can we not do it? There. Can we just fake it? Uh, no, 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 no! Don't leave me on my own. Ah! <laughs> We're not in Venice. <laughs> we did it. We actually did it. It's quite romantic, isn't it? I know. Very, it's so hot. Very calming. Yeah, it's lovely. I had a bit of a freak out at the beginning, but... We had a big freak I out. I told you to bring Rosé. Well, I think we've got enough on her. Oh wow, that looks really nice. You did it all by yourself, didn't you? I did, I brought you the boat. And it's really fun. And I brought you here. It's so tranquil and lovely. <laughs> I was like, I shouldn't mention it or you wouldn't go. What happened? When I found the boat, there yeah. was a massive snake in it. You're kidding me. Yeah. I grabbed what colour? I turned it around and a massive grey snake came out. Like, oh, that's... No, I wouldn't have got in. That's why I didn't tell you until you were oh. stuck here. Should we try the drone? Yeah. services in muddy ponds. That was so fun. <laughs> Son cosas que me excitan Y tus panties en el suelo También los besos Parecen de un universo Muy lejos pero del nuestro Con ese sabor a miel Vamos a hacerlo una noche La luna mirará Y las estrellas verán que brillará because I've been laughing a lot. Laughing makes me wheezy. So at the end of our trip, I was going to finish reading my book. Well, I have been trying to read this book for months. And normally I read a book in max two days. And just haven't had the time. And it's really hard to get back into it. But I've got half an hour to read my book. I went out the front. It is boiling sunshine. I sat there for about five seconds and it was too hot for me. I'm more of a shade person. And I'm just so fair as well. So yeah, I'm sitting on the front porch again. You know how Americans, and I'm sure many other countries, but they have porches at the front of their house. I wish we had that as well. It's just um, not really an English thing. So that's the car, the Chateau's car that's going to take us. I'm going to read my book. Um, Good news is, I think I've got hairy legs. Um, good news is, I found, please excuse my hairy legs, I know they're hairy. I found my my gold, real gold anchor that I bought in Cleveland. 
you know when you find things when you are um, looking for something else and I found it entangled in my shell necklace found that but lost my Givenchy laptop case I was working on the plane um, and I think I've left it there so I won't get that back and that was really sentimental because Givenchy gave that to me as a gift so that's a real shame but at least I found my bracelet my, my anklet so yeah that's the end of our trip I hope this inspired you to come somewhere like this like this is a wedding venue essentially but I hope it inspires you to do something like I mean inspires you one to maybe get married here if you're looking here um, I have to point out which I will put in the um, declare in the description box that we were invited here by the chateau I haven't been told to say anything I haven't been told to do anything um, this is literally just us perfect timing for our anniversary and everything I've shared with you is just what I think and I think it's really great I don't think I would have thought to come to a wedding venue chateau for our anniversary but it's been so romantic so perfect for birthdays anniversaries proposals 100% I think it's actually really nice to get proposed to here and then married here I think that's really really special that's a really nice idea um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been quite relaxing, but I ruined it a bit by taking so much content, but that's what I think's fun, because Paris loves me, he's happy to do it. The lake was my favourite part, food's been amazing, definitely recommend going to the Michelin star restaurant. Um, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it the thumbs up and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that, I appreciate all your support so far, I've had exceptionally nice comments recently, so thank you. Um, I'll put in the description box everything that I've worn along with size reference and all the information you need to know. This has been my favourite dress the whole trip plus the long floral one, they've all been great really. All the sliders I love. This bag has been amazing, I'm so happy I went with the small one because um, I wouldn't have used the big one as much. I've got my shell jewellery from like last summer, the Saint Laurent bag has been a dream. Um, yeah, so... That's a very long goodbye, but I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one. How do you do it? I'm the finder. I call him the finder of life. I don't know how he does it. Where did you find it? I looked everywhere. The I whole chateau. Sofa. It was really well hidden actually. The sofa? Which one? There's like four and it was under the other one. In our bedroom? Look. Yeah, so one on the right when you come, where you had your suitcase, it was under that sofa. No way. So I lose a lot of things. <laughs> And I find a lot of things. And he finds everything and I'm so sentimental about my things. Search and rescue. You're always rescuing me actually. I'm so sentimental about my things. I look after everything. It doesn't matter if it's um, like inexpensive, expensive. If I lose something, it will, I will lay awake for weeks and I'll never forgive myself for losing anything. And I'll go to him really upset and I'll say I've looked everywhere. Literally I look everywhere and he always, always finds it. Is all those years that searching underwater for stuff. Oh, here we go. There was no need Training for that. In Honduras. He, he's not joking. He did do that bit. I did do it. Search and rescue. I just said you're not joking. You did do it. Underwater. But he had to. He just has to. Underwater is 360. This is 2D. It's easier. He has to. Uh, he loves complimenting himself, mm -hmm. don't you? I'm pretty amazing. I'll get a bit. So the airport has been evacuated. <sighs> Weather's amazing. I put my airport outfit back on, my acne tracksuit. Oh no, did you see that? Um, and now I'm boiling. So they found a suspicious luggage stranded in the airport. <clears throat> Two people. And then it blew up apparently and the what they have to do is evacuate the, air, the airport and they did it, you know, it's really good that they evacuated it so apparently they're just finishing it off and then everyone can go back in can you believe that?